Hi everyone, welcome to Rodha. My name is Ravi Prakash, and again I welcome you all to a fantastic session session of numbers practice session. Okay, where we'll be practicing some good questions of CAT level. Okay, so the CAT is very nearby, guys. So I expect all of you to remove all the negativity. Now the uh, Navratri is also going on right now. So just remove all the negativity. Be very positive about what you are doing. This is what I communicate in my daily classes, right? be very positive be very focused right don't deviate from the path in any exam like cat last 35 to 40 days are super important right even last two months are super important because in this two months this these two months will be the game changer actually okay so you have to study a lot practice a lot right make it a mantra right the mantra will be revise practice repeat revise practice and repeat okay study a lot guys okay and uh, just try to cover maximum concepts in quant cover maximum sets in lrdi at least six sets per day in lrdi right should be able to should be covering yeah okay let's start guys now look at the first question here so first question says that n is the least positive odd integer which has the same number of factors as 540 find the sum of digits of n okay Now, if I if I check these numbers here, okay, so we have to find the sum of digits of n, right? Basically, five forty. So once I try to calculate five forty here, right? So five forty. What is for that? Get the number of factors of five forty, guys. Quick, quickly break five forty. What is five forty? So five forty can think like two into two seventy. Then again, four into one thirty five, right? You can just make it like half and half. Okay. What is one thirty five? Fifteen into nine, right? So now you can you have this right? This is basically so in five forty two will occur two times. This four is square fifteen one three and th in nine two three. That is three q into five are there. Okay. How many factors we have, guys? We have so how many factors we have? We have two plus one three into four into two. We have got twenty four factors here. Okay. So the question says that n is the least positive odd integer, okay, which has the same number of factors as five forty. Same number of factors as five forty. Find the sum of digits of n. Now, so there is an odd integer here which has got same number of factors as five forty, right? That means twenty four factor, right? So this question says that there is some odd integer actually, which has got Twenty four factors. So which is which, which is that odd integer? I want to find the least positive at odd integer, right? Minimize that value. So I know that we have studied this in factors, right? When we have twenty four factors or any number of factors here, right? So twenty four factors. If I split into maximum prime numbers, then I'll get a minimum value in ninety nine point five percent cases, right? That's what we discussed. So twenty four factor can be broken into maximum part, right? Like Three into eight, no. So it's three into two into two into two. If I try to break it in four prime numbers, guys, that means it will got four prime numbers: p one, p two, p three, and p four. P one has factor three, so power two. P two has factor two, so power one. P three has factor two, so power one. P four has factor two, so power one. Right? That's how you get factor. How do you get factor? Power plus one. How do you get uh, power? Factor minus one. Right? Now, so basically, I want to know what is the minimum possible value here. What is the minimum possible value here? Right, this is what I want to know here. What is the minimum possible value? Okay, so minimum and that that two odd integer, right? So P one has got the highest power here. So I can put the least odd odd prime number that is three. Okay, then the other has got symmetrical powers like one one one. I can in an any order I can put the odd numbers, right? Like five, seven, and eleven. Right, number becomes what? Nine into five is forty-five. Forty-five into seven is three one five, and three one five into eleven is what? Three four six five. So three four six five is the answer. In fact, we were asked to find the sum of digits actually. That is what three plus four plus six plus five. That is equal to eighteen. So eighteen would be the answer. Correct, right? Okay, sure. Then guys, as I informed earlier also, okay. 
So we have this national it's called scholarship test running at an academy. Okay, so we have prepared this is actually on this Sunday it is like LRD last Sunday a lot of people have appeared for this right. I told I informed on YouTube also that last Sunday was for quant. Okay, sectional test for quant. This is for sectional test for LRDI at 5 to 5 40 pm every Sunday now. Okay, LRDI is sectional test right. So we have prepared this for 40 minutes as per new pattern. Okay, so as per new pattern of CAT we have prepared for 40 minutes. I expect five to six sets in CAT. It could be five, it could be six also because nobody knows it, right? So we'll try to fluctuate in subsection five, in subsection six, just like that, right? To uh, to actually make you uh, prepare with the best situations or the worst situation, I, I should say. Fine. And um, the once you give a test, right? So the analysis has to be done immediately. I told Adil also. So yes, uh, I take uh, utmost care of it, right? So once we are giving the test, we have the same day analysis at 7 to 8 p.m. also. Okay. And uh, in this festive season, you have this fantastic chance of winning this Amazon white vouchers. Okay. And give to your brother, sister, boyfriend, girlfriend, father, mother, anybody, right? Okay. So if you are good, you will win this. It is always like a, a kind of a, a bit of a memorable thing. Yeah. If you win some prize at, net, at some this uh, level which uh, many thousands of people will be giving this test right okay so it is like uh, amazon budget is, is one thing right obviously it is there another thing is you you would get to know where you're standing right now that's the main thing right so it's absolutely free for everyone it is absolutely free for everyone okay so now uh, you can just give this lrda sectional tests every sunday 40 minutes thousands of students will give the give, will give this and uh, this uh, analysis also will be done and uh, this uh, five six good level set good cat level sets you'll get right so sunday 5 pm the enrollment link which is absolutely free huh, i will put in the description as well as the comment box right so i'll pin in the comment box also okay so make sure guys you're enrolling through this link huh this is very important actually to give the test at this national level and know your percentile okay fine let's move ahead guys look at the second question now how many series rate numbers are the form abc abc are also multiples of 43 now what what i know what is this abc abc right can i say can i write abc abc directly as abc into 1001 right i have taught a lot earlier these things a lot huh what is abc abc so you can just break it right how do you write this you can just write like this okay now basically if you break it right so 0 1 2 3 4 5 it's like a into 10 raised to 5 plus b into 10 raised to 4 plus c into 10 cube plus d into 10 square plus e into 10 plus oh sorry d is and you know not the right as written in the flow here okay so again it is like a again it is like b and again it is like c okay c huh? So now if you see guys, you combine A terms here. Okay, so in A terms, you will get 100 as common, right? So 100A has become common here. And 1000 plus 1 is 1001. That is 1001 is inside, right? Plus 10, 4. Now if you combine B terms here, right? So you can take 10B as common. And again, 1001 is inside. Okay? Now if you take C1 common here, right? So again, if you take C common, 1001 is inside. Okay, so now if you take 1001 as common, it becomes 100A plus 10B plus C. What is 1001 guys? So it is 7 into 11 into 13, we don't know. Anna. And what is 100A plus 10B plus C? It is ABC. ABC. I can directly write, right? So that's how we write this ABC into 1001. Okay, once we have got this ABC into 1001, so question says that, six digit numbers of the form abc abc are multiples of 43 okay now if you look at the multiples of 43 right if you look at the multiples of 43 okay that okay so that's how we write 1001 into abc right so once i know this thing guys so now 1001 cannot be a multiple of 43 obviously right because it is 7 11 13 okay that means if abc abc form has to be a multiple of 43 right it, if it is to be a multiple of 43 that means ABC has to be a multiple of 43. And ABC should be a 3-digit number also. Because otherwise, 
it won't remain a single digit number here so abc should be a multiple of 43 and abc should be a three digit number how many numbers are possible just check guys so 43 into 1 i won't take because it is 43 i won't take 86 also into 2 because 86 means a two digit number i want both three digit numbers you start with 43 into 3 43 into 4 what is the last one guys so last one is like 43 into just before 1000 no so 43 into 20 is 860 and 129 99 right yeah so basically we have 43 into 23 is the last number just before 1000 is a three digit number here okay so 3 to 23 21 numbers are possible so there are 21 numbers here okay of the form abc abc which are a multiple of 43 so 21 is the answer okay hope this cleared everyone right so it's a very uh, uh, nice question here okay so this is a remainder question and one more remainder question we'll discuss in the next video here okay so but in this uh, in this time right try to give a lot, lot of mocks guys study a lot give a lot of mock a lot of mocks you give okay plan itself a uh, plan the mocks at least two days at least every three days right and study a lot in this season actually okay fine and obviously uh, enroll to this this course also this uh, this nst here and uh, just try to bring the uh, bring the rank more and more up right with this free 40 minute sectional test every sunday at 5 pm to 6 pm 5 pm to 540 pm okay enrolled with the link in the which is pinned pinned in the comment here right now okay chalo bye bye guys see you in the next video thank you